Welcome to my video how to buy and sell NFTs for profit and yes I'm going to show you what I did to go from zero to $7,000 and something in 29 days. So just to be clear the thumbnail and the title was not a clickbait. I've already made a couple of videos on NFTs so you already should know what is NFTs, why people want to buy NFTs, how to get money uh, to your MetaMask, what is MetaMask right? You can definitely watch those on my youtube channel so if you had not subscribed make sure you subscribe and watch my next videos because i will be teaching you how to make money with nfts and on this video i decided to show you my excel sheet where you will see what date i bought when i sold and how much and because i know that there are many youtube videos that teach you theory and i think that you don't really need it because you just need to do an action taker so if you are an action taker and you want to make money with nfts especially as a side hustle because i started a month ago and you know what it was just like i was a newbie but once i start to realizing what is the best way to make money with nfts and and buy and sell for a profit I was like, wow, I got this aha moment and I will also show you steps that you need to make if you want to do what I'm doing. But first of all, I'm going to show you all the numbers so you see it that it is possible with just a couple hours a week. So if you are ready to see it, let's go. Alright guys, welcome back and before we get started, I just want to make sure that you understand that this is going to be a five step video that if you complete these steps, you will make money because that's what I did and I will be showing you on the Excel sheet how much I made in those 29 days. And please guys, I am not a financial advisor, so this video is just for education and entertainment purposes only. So if you are worried about losing money, I think you should not be trading. And if you want to trade NFTs, make sure you only put money you can afford to lose. I just want to put it out there because I think it's important that you understand the risk and that trading NFTs is risky. But with the steps I'm going to show you, I think that you should be able to minimize the risks. So let me just open the Excel sheet and I show you the numbers. All right, so I'm not that great with Excel, but this is gonna show you some uh, important things, I think. And first of all, I bought my first NFT in December 8, 2021, and I bought it for 0 0.099. As you could see, it's not too much, but it was my first NFT and it was okay to just test the waters with it. After that, I bought one for 0 013. And after that, it was 14, oh, 12, 14. Um, and then it was late like 28, 29. And then 20, 28, 31. So basically, I started December 8. And um, all my sales were made at the end of the month. So I show you my email that I get notifications from OpenSea. And the first one I sold on December 28th and uh, today, yesterday and today, today was the, I sold the last one. So I made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 sales. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 sales. So as you can see, some days I was able to make $190, some days $2,000. And if you could see, for example, this one, it was December 31st. And in just two days, I made $2,000, right? This one took a little bit longer. It was my first one. I was not so experienced and I didn't know what I'm doing. But as you could see, for example, I saw the 31st, 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 couple of sales on the 31st. And that means that I already, at the end of the month, I already knew what I was doing. So if you are a newbie, don't worry. Maybe you can go for something cheaper. You could still make some profit with what I'm going to show you. But as more experience you get, better you will be at picking the project and trading. But what I'm going to show you on this video is basically what I was doing at the end of the month. Because as you could see, so many sales I made at the end of the month, right? So if I could just come the 31st, for example, so it was 
$423.66 plus $335.08 plus $442.00. Ninety-two plus four nine six eighty-four plus three three one point two two and plus one six three point six nine. So on that day I make two thousand dollars. This is profit, guys. Yeah, because I bought it for ETH and. Then I, I sold it for this much and the profit was here. So I'm just counting this. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six sales in one day. So that means an average cost or average profit was $365, which is kind of cool, especially if you are a newbie. So right now, what I'm going to show you is the steps I'm taking to make these sales. So you will be able to do it. Okay. So the step one is that you need to have MetaMask wallet. Now I've made video about MetaMask. It's going to be somewhere above me. So I don't want to waste your time right now. But if you have time some sometimes in the future, then you can definitely watch it because it is very important. Second step would be that you need to find some ETH or crypto exchange where you can uh, take your fiat money and buy cryptocurrency and to do exactly what I am doing you would need to have ETH and after you buy your ETH then you will be able to transfer that to your MetaMask and again I've made video on how to buy ETH on Coinbase and how you can transfer that money to MetaMask within a couple minutes so again if you want to watch it in the future there is going to be a link above me and you will be able to see how to buy ETH and send it to your MetaMask. And step three, step three will be basically you need to go to OpenSea.io and you need to connect your wallet there. And that's pretty easy. And you don't need to create any account. All you have to do is go to your profile and it tells you connect your wallet. So basically you're gonna connect your wallet and you're all set. Now step four is to finding the project. And I've also made video about doing the research and all that stuff so again if you want to watch that there's going to be a link above me where you can see exactly how i'm finding projects and i'm going to do it very quickly for here for this video and basically every time i do it i do it the same way so i go to stats and ranking because i bought eth and i'm doing everything on ethereum so i select ethereum and then i do the last 24 hours and after that, I will go, it depends what's your price, how much, what is your budget basically, right? So I go by floor price. And I know that for me or for, the, for you, when you get started, when I first getting started, I start buying at 0, 0.0 something, right? But for example, you can see that 0, 0.12 is okay. And you can see that the volume is pretty good. Uh, you can go and... Alien friends, for example, they're already on one ETH, so I would not do it. It depends on your budget. Here is Gunslinger's collection. It's crazy. It looks good by these numbers. Again, I'm not advising you now to go to Gunslinger's and do what I'm going to show you right now. I'm just saying that as an example, that if you're just starting out, this could be a good project. And also Frontier game, it looks like good project, but they only, I don't like to see 55 items. I don't understand this. I don't know what's going on. What I'm always looking for, having a lot of tokens and at least 30% of owners. That's all what I need to know. And after that, if I like it, for example, I'd go and the next step there on OpenSea, I'll go and I'll see, all right, floor price is 0 0.68. That's when I first started with my project. So it's, I think the price is good. And then volume trading is okay. And I will see activity and now bummer i see this only nine people five sales so i get out i don't like to see it right i'm gonna now show you a project that i want to see for example let me go back so let me just go and find project that i like which is expansion punks it's really good project and right now the floor is 0 0.6 but i started 0 0.09 so now i want to show you if you find a project at 0 0.09 
then compare it to this. And if it will not look similar in a way when I look at a graph, I will not do it, right? So uh, I'll show you this graph. So basically all you have to do is always check activity and you see there was really nothing, 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 a little bit bump, but then it started picking up and I bought for 0 0.09 somewhere here when I saw it's picking up and since then uh, I checked the community, the community was solid, the owners, they were solid, a lot of NBA, MBL and uh, now NHL people coming to this so it's got kind of cool and since then I start to seeing growth and here this is the money I made in the 31st you see that it was a lot of sales 132 sales so there is always um, a lot of people 600 sales 400 sales so that means if you own and if you want to flip something like this you can see two minutes ago six six minutes ago 19 minutes ago even though the price is more expensive now there is still a lot of sales a day so 130 sales 196 sales that is a good sign and also another good sign that you can compare it is you see every time it drops it drops just a little bit it doesn't go all the way here like in the beginning right so it went up and it dropped here it didn't go all the way down but it went up now it was dropped here right and again it didn't drop all the way it went back up and this is if you find a project like this it is a gold mine in nft and you know this is how i made my money in project like this so for example if you want to go buy now something um how i do it i always go by floor price which is the step number five many people tell you go by rarity but I think it's not always the case. And on this project, I learned that I had rarity number 200, but it wasn't as popular and people did not want to really buy it. But uh, then I bought a rarity, for example, 9,000 from 10,000 items here. And I sold it like this. And even for more than the one that based on rarity tool was really rare. So I was trying to figure out how come and i figured that it's better if you don't care about rarity and stuff like this and you don't want to i don't want you even to waste your time on rarities for now because people usually buy at the floor first and this was hard experience for me so for example when you see this and i don't care what rarity this one is basically this one you can buy and you can flip it or hold it and when floor goes to 0.8 you can sell it. This is how I did it all the time. The same here. If you buy 0 0.6, you can wait when it's going to be like 0 0.8 and you can basically sell it in that, that way, right? And if you go to activity, you see, even though floor is 0 0.59, people buying 65, 8, 6, 6, 59, 6, 5, 8, 59, 59, 56, 6, right? 85. So you can see that there are sales that are way higher or they are above the floor price right so if they're doing now what happens when you buy something at a floor right now wait two weeks like you see you see when i first bought one i waited almost three weeks and then i sold it and after that i was before i was buying 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 another floor another floor and then the floor was double so i bought for something 0 0.2 but i sold 0 0.4 then I bought something for 0 0.4 and I sold it for 0 0.8. And that's how I make the money on, for example, this project. And you can apply this in any project just because it's the same, right? Just go by floor. You see the floor change it already something here. So you will go to the floor and you will see the properties. And you see that wild blonde is the rarest from all those trades. So I want to see how many wild blonde are on sale right now and what price and this is how i'm doing it this is how i'm making the money this is how i make seven thousand dollars within 29 days and um, that's what i'm teaching you guys it's no secret so i go by buy now so right now i'm a project i have wild blonde buy now and there's 24 items for sale and i see that there is one on floor and then one two three four before it goes to 0 0.9 so i can wait two days three days this one this will sell out and i can sell this for at least 0 0.94 i always or even 
even 0 0.84. So if I sell it for 0 0.83, let me see, 0 0.83, but I bought it for 0 0.59, but with the guess, let's say it drew me 61. So minus 0 0.61. Basically, I can make within just like three days 0 0.22 ETH. And 0 0.22 ETH is 800 bucks. So just on flip like this, I can make $800. So for me, it would be smart to buy this, to buy this, to buy this, and maybe sell it for even more, right? Or maybe sell this one first and then wait when the floor goes higher and then I sell this, right? So this is how I am actually doing my flipping. And just in case you would like to have step number six, that is easy one rinse and repeat yeah, do you remember that in the beginning i really invested so low just because i wasn't sure if nfts is really good or if nfts is good for me but after just a couple of weeks i realized that this is the fastest way to make money online but let me tell you something if you do e-commerce if you do youtube channel like i'm doing right now if you do affiliate marketing if you are going to do seo you are required to learn a lot before you start seeing money but with nfts you're just pressing buttons and you don't need to spend any money on advertising or creating funnels and whatever they tell you to do so if this video gives you some value please do me a favor hit the like button, it helps me out and more people will have chance to see video like this. And also let me know in the comments below why you wanna invest in NFTs. And if you are completely new to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe button with the bell notification icon because this year I will teach you how to make money with NFTs.